newest event in Honkai Star Rail brings with it not only amazing rewards, but a difficult challenge to the newest area in Pinnaconi. And it also allows you to use different team combinations with some of the newer units like Black Swan and Sparkle completely free and make your existing characters extremely broken. So let's see how I did. The first stage focuses heavily on weakness breaks. So we're going to be taking characters that can utilize their kit to get through properly and keep doing continuous damage. Sheyi and Himiko are really solid choices here and even offered in the trial. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This event does what Star Rail in general does really well by allowing you to take characters that you normally wouldn't. Like I haven't used Sheyi ever since she released and I definitely don't use Himiko outside of pure fiction. So it's really cool to be able to take these characters here. Ron May is really solid for this stage of course because you can break through the weakness but what I've noticed is she's not doing much damage. You really want to have characters that can do a lot of damage. So I think bringing Herda is uh, probably a smart idea. There we go. I mean, what what else is there to say, right? <laughs> Pretty amazing amounts of damage. We'll see if I'm able to get up to 15 stacks. I think it's going to stop at 14 though. And here we go into the final boss fight. This one has quantum weakness starting it off. So I love to save Shay here because if it gets into sanction mode, you're kind of going to be set back a little bit. And there we go. Easy cake. Easy peasy cake. It's insane, like, the follow-ups that you're able to do with this team setup, though. I'm not used to seeing Himiko do that much damage. Honestly, I'm not even using my Fushuan shielding at all here, but for the last phase with those freezes, definitely gonna need it. All right, this is gonna break through. I'm not gonna use Herda's either. For one thing, I don't need to. She's already about to have her ult. Look at this, like, Himiko just hitting casually 600k right there. There goes the deer, nice. AoE capability and the toughness break Che is able to accomplish though is insane. It should not be underestimated, especially on this stage, but it's just so much fun to see. All right, and we have made it to Kakolia with three full cycles left. Honestly, I should have saved that. I don't know why I just used my Shay's ult like that. That was an accident because I need to save it for the next phase since we're not going to get any more trash can assistance. But that's okay. I mean, I have so much damage output that it really doesn't matter. <laughs> So I would like to get rid of Bronya because she's going to be a annoying to just have to deal with in general. Like I can still get frozen through my shield, of course. So I've got to watch out. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. So we're pretty close to breaking through. Nice. Okay. Himiko might be able to crack Bronya here then. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Because we were getting frozen a little bit, but it's all good. We did reach 80,000, but we still have to kill off here. Oh, I got frozen though. That sucks. I need to get my shield back up. Bro, stop freezing me. I can't believe Bronya hasn't died yet, to be honest. She's just hanging on so much. And there we go. That is Kikolia. I got frozen tremendously towards the end there. But SS rank is so easy on this first stage if you take a lot of AoE follow-up damage like that. The next stage though, I do think I'm going to be taking trial characters because I still don't have Sparkle on my account. Argenti either and Luisha, they do a really good job on this stage, but in Biber Lune, mine in particular is going to be extremely strong here. So I'm looking forward to that. And it is kind of like a little mini game here where you have to make sure that all the faces are the same so that they will all kill each, each other basically and give you as much boss as you can have. Also, I haven't said this yet, but I love Sparkle's ultimate. It is beautiful man really really is all right i think we did a good job we have a big boost of damage we have a huge boost of damage all right now it's time for imbibed or Lune to just go through and clear now this is only two stacks yeah it was only two stacks all right there we go and Bible to Lune makes such quick work of these imaginary enemies it's crazy man all right so that one's gonna die over there let's focus this one Nice. Thankfully, she's not as much a pain in my butt as she was a second ago on the other stage. This should one shot, surely, right? Oh, so very close. Well, I'm just gonna pop ult. I wanna get all my skill points back anyway. We still have four cycles. We're definitely gonna finish it right here. Is that gonna get me to the ult? Oh, let's go. But I didn't get to proc pop it in time. I did not get to pop it in time. That might have been a little bit of a waste, but it's okay. I just wanna get past this. Now we're on to the final fight with Japard. Now, the good thing is, Argenti is able to weakness break him as well. But I believe that in Barbara Lunate can almost one shot him. We'll see. I mean, with the weakness break damage, surely, right? There we go. All right. If I could just do that two more times, we'll be fine. 
That's all right. It just takes a little bit longer. All right, last health bar. That's crazy how fast and by Lane can shred apart like that. I think if I didn't bring trial characters, it would have been faster. But like our Chinti is not really doing a lot of damage. Made it where it took a little longer. But nonetheless, and by Lane slayed here, making it an easy SS rank clear right there. This stage focuses on dot teams. And if you've been playing version 2.0 since the first half, you'll know that Black Swan is essential for a lot of these teams. But you can still get by without her, of course. But because I was fortunate enough to get her, I'm definitely going to be bringing her along with Kafka, who had her rerun not too long ago and i know that this will be super fun with the dot capabilities i love fighting these enemies as well because they are so catered towards dots and they pretty much take care of themselves not only do they have their defense decrease they explode do damage to themselves and it's perfect for this actual stage itself time to say bye Okay, Kafka hitting almost half a million there. That's pretty good. So I think that's going to be it. About 19 stacks, which is more than enough. I think that's going to carry us in. That's like a what? 950% attack boost? That's crazy. So we're going to be having so much attack now. So we did not end up bringing a physical attacker. So we're not going to be able to break through there, but that's fine. Most of these enemies have a win weakness in one way or another. All right, will I get Black Swan's ult? I sure will. Nice, nice. Even if it goes into sanction mode, I'm pretty sure it's just going to die from the arcane stacks like that one just did. Five cycles left and we're halfway through. Sorry, Kafka, but mine's better than yours. <laughs> it feels a little weird going against her with my own, but oh my gosh, the arcana damage. And now we have the ult. Maybe I can one shot this phase. Let's see. Oh, it was very close. There we go. We're moving on to the last stage with a little over three and a half cycles left. I feel really good about this. This team, man, with the buffs that it gives you is crazy. And with this last part of Arcana, he should be dead. Nice. Now I'm going to wait till he summons the swords, though. Let's go ahead and try to break these as quickly as possible. I definitely think the trial Sampo does make this easier. I've used my own, but he doesn't have speed boots and he's dead. Let's go. One last health bar. That last sword's almost down after I'm getting frozen a lot, though. Even if Sampo, for some reason, doesn't kill off here with his ult, the arcane attacks are going to do it. So there we go. That is the dot stage. That was so much fun, honestly. Seeing those big damage numbers is always pleasing. And that's SS rank with 19 stage buffs. I almost had 1,000 attack percent increase. The fourth stage is actually really different because we're relying on not only quick damage, which comes from the shield, but using fire follow-up attack characters like Dr. Ratio, Topaz, and Clara, and I think it'll do pretty well. Oh my gosh, the stacks just keep going up higher. I think that's gonna be it. There we go. Nearly 70 Quake counter rank stacks. That is incredible. Honestly, as much as I hate to admit it, using the trial characters was better than my own since the speed is actually higher. This is a mode where you don't want to be slow, and even though my characters were only like maybe 5 to 10 speed behind, it did make a difference for real that quake damage is absolutely dangerous now too i mean it really is making a difference having japar too because the shield application is better than fushuan for the whole team here we go and we're on to sparag with about three full cycles left yeah i really feel embarrassed now to to admit that my units would not cut it here because of the speed like this is so much easier but also this amount of quake is actually helping out too now that i look at it this way i think this is probably the easiest stage when you use the trial characters because they really don't need to do much as long as you keep the shield up or whatever in the case of clara as well it takes care of of itself you don't need to really worry about it but there we go two cycles left and he's already on the last stage There we go. That was actually a lot of fun. I do think that speed is very important for this challenge like everything else in Star Rail. So if your characters aren't fast like mine, then definitely use the trials. We're finally here on the last stage and we'll be fighting a familiar enemy from this memory of chaos cycle, the emotional void. 
and you can take any two of the buffs that you've obtained so far and i'm gonna be taking a dot team with the increased weakness break efficiency and the increased dot damage with 950 percent attack this is gonna be so satisfying because not only are we getting revenge on such an annoying boss from memory of chaos but also this is very reminiscent of when you play a game like metroid and by the end of it you have all of the suit upgrades and nothing can stand in your way that's exactly what this feeling is right now and it's going to be easy work getting to the final boss but i also really enjoyed this event because not only was it somewhat of a challenge in some aspects but it made me use different play styles that i'm not used to and i think that's a sign of a good event it challenges you while keeping you out of your comfort zone of course dot teams are really solid against this thing especially when it captures some of your characters so that's exactly why i decided to bring a dot team oh we're so close hit my hit, bro hit my black swan i really am so close it was so close to being broken that sucks that's all right we can come through and break here with the black swan it's already sealed so we might as well wait and we're on to the last health bar really cool really cool ah uh, he kidnapped them though that's unfortunate let's just do this use the ult we're gonna pop black swan and then we're also gonna follow up with the kafka here there we go we already got eighty thousand points but no we're killing this thing off we're killing it off and there we go that is the end of the event the last ss rank and it actually came down to it a little bit right there too but what a fun challenge and there we have it that is going to wrap it up i had so much fun doing this today if you guys have already completed the new event since the last stage just dropped a few hours ago then let me know what team you used for the final boss fight i enjoy doing these things and i can't wait to see what other events they add for boss rush in the future it was pretty cool using sparkle since i don't have her on my account yet also so hopefully i'll get her in the coming days but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video